and today's project is going to be a leaky trans cooler line there's the hose coming out of the bottom of the trans cooler turns into a metal hose with a clip right there there's the leak and that hose goes and connects to the bottom of the radiator somewhere up there so I ordered a fitting for the radiator and then we're just going to run a rubber hose the whole way here's a trans cooler line for some reason they use half rubber hose and half aluminum hose with two clamps holding it on this just pops right off of the uh, trans cooler and this side goes into the bottom of the radiator so I just bought an adapter so that I can run rubber hose all the way rather than having to bend uh, aluminum hose so there's going to be an adapter this side just plugs on with a uh, clamp run the hose the path you want it secure the hose and then clamp it on the opposite side we're going to go get the adapter in a little bit I'll show you how to do that well the part they gave me didn't work so what we're going to do is we, I broke off the end of the uh, line coming from the radiator going to the trans cooler and so we're just going to use a pipe cutter and cut it off right here and then put that in the hose and use some uh, sealer as well when we put that on so I'll show you how we do that I decided not to use a pipe cutter because I want to save as much of that pipe as possible so it'll slip on further so we're going to use this little cutoff tool thing we got the new line hooked up right there got some Loctite on it we just snugged it up we're going to see if it leaks and looking through the bumper there's the other line hooked up to the trans cooler which is right there those fittings did end up leaking so what we're going to do is we're going to seal them up with RTV but since that's going to take a while first we're going to drain the transmission um, it's the uh, bottom transmission line that this hose is hooked up to we're going to fire it up and wait till all the transmission fluids out then hook it up seal it and fill it back up with new transmission fluid so my transmission flush just turned into a no start problem somehow I thought that uh, underneath here I didn't have the hose connected right and it sprayed the wire harness over here with transmission fluid I thought that it was going to come out of that hose but it came out of that hose on the radiator sprayed all over the transmission fluid so I sprayed it all down with electrical cleaner still wouldn't start tried adding fuel because it was below a quarter tank still wouldn't start checked up here clean the battery cables clean the coils you name it wouldn't start tried starting fluid wouldn't work turns out the infamous inertia switch which is right here what that does is when your vehicle if your vehicles to roll over it that's supposed to pop and shut off fuel supply well somehow that got tripped while we were draining the transmission fluid and so I thought it was a transmission or a short somehow underneath the uh, hood somewhere. But turns out that's what the problem is. So if I can get a little closer shot here, there's a button on the top there. That button needs to be pushed down. If that button pops up, then that means your vehicle rolled over or it just did it on its own and it shuts off fuel flow so if you have a fuel problem where the engine will turn over but it doesn't start that's the first thing you want to check make sure that button's pushed down back to the uh, transmission flush that's how much we managed to get out of it probably about I don't know about three and a half four quarts came out of the cooler line and on my two and a half gallon jug that's how much I added was that top probably three three and a half quarts so I'm gonna let it sit overnight and check the fluid level in the morning and hopefully it won't leak anymore <laughs> 